Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Tanya here. So I'm just popping in to say, hey girl, welcome back to the channel. Girl, if you're new here, I am Tanya. Girl, I'm a thrift queen, girl, lover of all the things, home decor, thrifting, fashion, interior design. Girl, I'm into all the things. So if that's your vibe, okay, subscribe <laughs> to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna do a little thrifting, girl. You're gonna spend the day with me. Girl, we're just gonna have a good time. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you roll out. And let's just go and get into the video. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the first stop of the day was gonna be at Goodwill, so I decided to pop in, and girl, the first thing I went over to was the shoe section. I love these orange heels. These were from Fashion Nova, but they wanted $15 for them. They were half off, but girl, I didn't need another pair of shoes, but I did grab these green little small Public Desire heels. Um, super cute, again, white tags were half off, so I ended up grabbing those. These were some BB boots, super cute. I didn't need another white pair of boots, so I did leave those in the store, but then girl, they had these boots from Fashion Nova. Super cute. I did love the little dangle bangle, but girl, they was bruised and battered and they wanted $30, so I left them in the store. But girl, I found this hand knitted sweater. Super fly. I love this sweater. Um, it just stood out to me. I saw the pattern on it. I saw the knitting. Girl, I had to grab. Super cute. Now, they had this little cute little leather skirt. Size small. I didn't get it, um, of course, because of the size. But she was cute. And then this little skirt was cute. This one was by Rachel Comey. It was a Target piece. Loved it again. But again, this one was a size small. So I ended up having to leave this one in the store. But she was super cute. And y'all already know I've mentioned Benjula before on my channel. But Benjula girl is the lady that has us all wanting to buy the ties. Okay, she does the most fabulous tie hacks from double ties to folding them to I seen her rock them as a bow. Girl, the gemstones, the rhinds, girl, Benjula has the girls on lock with the ties. So these were super cute. So I grabbed a few of them and I saw this little retro style stool. I don't need it um, for my house, but it was $8. Super cute as I was passing by just browsing. And then I went back over to the clothes and girl, I saw this IB Diffusion sweater. Girl, if you know the name brand, then you know. Um, and I shop all season, so it don't matter to me if it's summer, spring, fall, girl. I'm, if it's in the store and it's cute, girl, I'm gonna grab it. And then I saw this men's leather coat. This was super cute. Um, I tried it on. Um, I don't know why I'm a sucker for leather coats. I tried it on. Um, I probably needed this in a medium because you know how leather is. Small mean extra small. But she was super cute. And the girls was just kind of bent. Like, get this dress. Don't get this dress. But if you follow another lady, BJ Holmes, I think is her name. Girl, she reminded us to make sure we buy all the, the granny dresses, the vintage dresses, girl. Because you can cut the top and rock the top over some jeans. Super cute. But I do intend to leave this just as a dress because it is super cute so i ended up grabbing that dress this bag was another find that i found when i was in goodwill girl i grabbed all the bags i think i'm just i just have a i'm a sucker for bags okay i have a hard time letting bags go when i find them and girl who didn't have some heels like these i think i may have had these heels back in the day now they wanted twenty dollars i didn't get them i wasn't gonna get them anyway even if they was two dollars but girl it was just a reminder girl a little nostalgia and then these little mary jane heels were super cute i didn't end up getting these either because i didn't want to spend i think they were like twenty dollars too and they weren't on sale so i left those in the store but they were super cute and they had these little cute black strappy heels of course i didn't need another pair of strappy heels they were 15 dollars, but half off so i ended up leaving those in the store and i went back and they were still there and i still left them but then i saw this victoria's secret pajama set girl you know we wear the pajama sets outside daytime nighttime girl super cute so i'm always into finding pajama sets especially because you know when you're around your parents and stuff you need to be fully covered so Girl, y'all ask me all the time about my gym workout routine. So I got up Saturday morning and the first thing that I did was hit the gym. I just felt like I've been slacking a little bit on the gym. So I needed to get back into my routine. And I always start off with me a good little cute warm up. Most times I try to get a mile in whether I'm walking or jogging. But that's always... You know, the first thing that I do when I go to the gym, just to kind of get the heart rate going. But y'all, health and wellness is so important. And I do think that, you know, we all need to be focusing on ourselves, getting the healthiest that we can become, whatever that means for you. Even if you go to the gym and, girl, all you do is walk for 30 minutes on a treadmill. I just firmly believe to get you should get it in. Um, y'all always ask me about my legs. So it, it comes from just a commitment to going to the gym. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm just the best at diet that is something that i need to work on because the food portion of it or the food piece of of trying to get healthy is always the hardest and it's definitely not the area that i'm the strongest in 
but I do plan to focus on that because I can go to the gym. Going to the gym, exercise and working out ain't no, ain't no issue for me, but I also know that for the results that I really, really want to see, I definitely have to change my diet. And so I'm always working on my back, shoulders, arms. I didn't used to always do that because I used to be so leg focused, but girl, I want that little hourglass. So I got to work on the back and the arms, honey. I don't want the, I don't want the love handles. I don't want none of that. So I spent my Saturday morning, I got up, did about 45 minutes in the gym, you guys. It doesn't take, you know, extraneous workouts. Keep them simple. Find you something on YouTube. Girl, the girlies over on TikTok, Instagram are always sharing their workout routines. But this little piece of the video is just to inspire you to, you know, do something different. Take a, take a chance on yourself. Work out, whether you walk in your neighborhood, whether you go to the gym, have a gym membership. Just work on yourself. And then I pop back into Goodwill on Saturday and really the only thing that I saw was this little bowl and I thought it'd be cute for a flower arrangement so I didn't get it but I thought she was cute and y'all already know I had to make me a cute little pit stop down to them people thrift mark girl so I wanted to go in there and see 50% off orange 30% off white and one of the things I saw when I first walked into the store was this little sequin situation so I was like let me go over here and see what this was giving uh-uh this 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 one the vibe I was looking for now you know for somebody else she would have been super cute but girl I ended up leaving that in the store and then I am on the hunt for some Carhartt jeans um so I went over to the men's section trying to find them girl the, the thrift store is full of girl them Wranglers you know they do have some Levi's I always see the Dockers Dickies girl everything but me a piece of Carhartt now I did find some True Religions <laughs> about a week or so ago so I ain't gonna talk too bad girl about the men's section but i that's literally what i'm on the hunt for and then i come on this side of the store because they do keep women's bags over here but i always still like to go through the men's section and they didn't have any bags um this particular day and since i'm on this side of the store i tend to kind of go over here and kind of browse through the home stuff now i don't need anything from the home section especially not no dishes not no china girl because i took all that stuff from my mom's uh when i got the shrunk to the house so i really don't even pay attention to the to the home section as much anymore although i do like to find pictures if i can find you know like some african you know art or some sculptures but you know the home section wasn't doing it for me but then when i turned my neck around girl they had this bomb crochet dress i love this dress and i thought because the bottom had stretch in it girl that i was gonna be able to do something with it girl the top does not have any stretch zero stretch but for 5.98 i grabbed it and while i was over here this color had popped out to me especially with the shoulders and girl this is a little piece of nasty gal dress and i'm gonna show y'all at the end of the video what this dress looks like on but for 7.98 i ended up grabbing it it was a size 14 really really cute so i went over to the blazer section this blazer was one that stood out to me and for 5.98 i grabbed this green and white houndstooth with the gold button details super cute i tried it on in the store just to make sure that it was gonna be good for you girl love that blazer and then girl they had a little piece of geisha girl in there a little piece of geisha. Now, these sometimes be a little bit tricky because even though they might tell me extra large, girl, they fit small. But I ended up leaving that one in the store. And girl, call me. Okay, I want you to call me. Okay, on the line. Get me on the main line. But I left that bag in the store. This was me just trying on the blazer. Super cute. I already knew that the blazer was going to work. I mean, the sleeves were long enough. I already knew based on the size that it would work. But, you know, I always want to just make sure. I see what the fit is giving, girl. And I was waiting on home, girl, to give me my little piece of receipt. Because, girl, I think I was in and out of Thrift Mart. Girl, I spent what it was. Girl, $21. So, I grabbed my little items. Ran on over to America's Thrift Store. Because, girl, I was just on the, you know, spending the day with me, girl. So, I'm just trying to make my little rounds. So, went over to the bags. This is the only bag in the store that caught my eye. Um, I didn't end up getting it, even though she was kind of cute. I probably could have got it, but girl, I'm in bag. I'm I'm just in bag overload. So nothing else caught my eye in the bag section, but then I, this blouse did stick out to me. So I ended up grabbing this blouse. Super cute. Love the color. Love the pattern. Love the gold. Y'all will see when I try this one on as well what this top was giving me that day now i wanted to really get into this little denim skirt because i thought she was giving me like a little peplum on the bottom but girl when i tried it on it was not doing it for me from the back okay if it ain't gonna give me a little piece of eye from the back i you know I, I just had to leave her in the store now this skirt i i picked it up because i was like oh i like the pattern i like the color but then I kind of held it up to myself and I, girl, I talked myself out of this skirt. So I left the skirt in the store. But then these little Steve Madden, little chunky, little platform style, little booties. Girl, they a little bruised and bad up. But, but since they were Steve Madden, I think they were only like $5, $4.99. I ended up grabbing them 
just cause. And then I saw this Beast Mode t-shirt, super cute. I did grab it. If you saw it on Instagram, I did wear it um, that same day. Cause I'll, um, I'll show y'all I went to the little piece of paint and silk. And I haven't been to Value Village in a minute um, because it's on the other side of town. Uh, but I used to tear this Value Village up all the time, but I just slowed down on going to Value Village. But when I popped in, I was over in the men's section and they had these really cute leather pants. Now, since they were 100% genuine leather, I was okay with the $18.99, but they were just a little too big for me. And I just wasn't fixing to do all the try them on and get them, you know, altered and all of that. And then they had these Ed Hardy shorts, super cute. Um, again, I, I grabbed them because I was like, okay, these might be cute. But girl, when I tried them on, uh-uh, left the store, went on to this downtown rescue mission store, girl. And I was wondering what was going on in here, but at 50, the store was 50% off. So that's why it was so crowded. Because I was like, why is this parking lot so full? But y'all don't already see, I already had some items in my cart because I just went in there and just went ham. So I picked up this blazer. I'll show y'all what that looks like on because I did a quick little style up of her. I grabbed this little jersey. Girl, I don't know if it's a rev jersey. Girl, I don't know what piece of jersey, but it's got the swag on it. And it's got all the HBCU teams. So, you know, it was half off. And I do like like a little jersey moment mixed up with some camo or mixed up with some jeans. So I ended up grabbing it that has several little um, camo pieces. So I grabbed this camo jacket. Um, again, the store was 50% off. So I wasn't passing up the camo. Saw these camo pants, which is my favorite camo print. Girl, love these down. So girl, $6.29, 50% off. Cam on me, okay? <laughs> now, these little shoes, girl, let's get into them. Now, you know, at first, I, uh, uh, but, you know, they was $4. I did love the pattern. Uh, girl, just dropped the people stuff. Again, Benjula got us down here with the ties. I thought this one was cute and funky. I love the little chartreuse popped in mixed with that. So, I ended up grabbing that. Girl, I was out of there. Let me see. Girl, I spent $20. $20. And I rounded up on the $20. So, here I am, um, headed off to the paint and sip. So, the ladies from my Bible study group, they have, um, we decided for this particular month to all link up and just, you know, do something outside of, you know, just our normal Bible study and to also get to know one another. So we went to Pino's Palette here in Huntsville for the little piece of paint and sip. Now, y'all, when I go to the paint and sip, I am not here for the for the painting. Let me tell you something. My painting don't never come out how it should. Girl, I ended up trashing that thing. But, you know, I for the fellowship, girl, for the for the fellowship, one, one amongst another, Girl, I went on down to the paint, paint and sip, and these were the ladies that were there. This is girl. This is this is how the painting started. You see, we all kind of off to a you know to a to a good little start, and this is what the painting is supposed to look like. Okay, girl, when she had us paint these lily pads down to the piece of paint, girl, I was already I was already over it. I had already made up in my mind. You know what, Tanya, you ain't gonna keep this thing no way. So I'm not even finna stress myself out about not having all the things that I needed to have. And here we go. We adding a little more texture. Girl, added a little more texture to the piece. Girl, I, I ain't had nothing else to show y'all. I was done. And then I bounced my way over to Barnes & Noble because, y'all, I had saw on TikTok that they were saying, go buy this book before I let go. Y'all, I am like three chapters in, and girl, I am hooked. Went to sleep reading the book. Girl, got up thinking about getting me a cup of tea and reading the book. Let me tell you something. If you don't have this Kennedy book, this book by Kennedy Ryan, run on down to you a piece of Amazon or to your local Barnes & Noble because I couldn't wait for the Amazon. I am hooked on this book. It is so good. And I heard that she just came out with another one. And then, you guys, while I was over in that section of romance, girl, Bridgerton caught my eye. Did y'all watch that series? Down to the people, Netflix and TV, girl. I love Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte. I cannot wait for them to bring it back. But before y'all let you go, grab the book. All right, y'all. So I wanted to pop in and just kind of style up some of the pieces from the video this week. So wanted to do something a little different just so y'all can see. Uh, <laughs> Some of the looks. Now, it ain't iron now. I ain't, I ain't take the time to be ironing nothing, but <laughs> I still wanted to come on and at least show you. So, this was the green and white little checker blazer, house tooth blazer that um, I grabbed out of Thrift Mart. I just threw it on with some um, white Zara jeans and then the green little shoes that I showed y'all that I got from Goodwill. I threw that on with this and then this little bag um, that I've had for a while. I can't remember where I got it from. I got it from some, some boutique fashion website something like that and then just some bangles earrings girl i got me a piece of little wet and wave <laughs> i got a little wet and wave going on so this is one of the ways that i would style up this particular um blazer i think the look is super cute what y'all think on to the next look
All right, y'all, so next up is the sweater. I had a lot of people who really liked um, this hand-knitted sweater. Super cute. I did get this sweater as well from Goodwill, and I just threw it on with these little shorts. Um, I probably wouldn't do, you know, of course, the bra that I have on. Probably just a different, like, little camisole underneath um, if I wanted to do this little off-the-shoulder situation. But the gold button details, um, the shorts are from Target. Of course, the same little... Um, shoes that I got from Goodwill. Bag is Zara. Still got all my Fum Fumi to label earrings. And yeah, this is just one option way that you could style up this sweater if you wanted to, you know, put on some little shorts, have a little leg, cute little fall vibe where it's, you know, ain't, ain't hot yet, but it ain't, it ain't cool. You know, it's still look cool. So I thought this was super cute. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna let this sweater ride or not yet. It's real cute. So I don't know, we'll see, but love this little outfit. All right, y'all, so we got a colorful look um, going on. I can't remember if I showed these pieces in this video. Maybe these are from another thrift haul. Girl, I don't know, it was in the room, so <laughs> I'm just showing the look. So what I decided to do with this is I do have on like these little camouflage pants, but because they are neutral, I just decided to add, you know, a pop of color, some other pattern, just a play on pattern, mix on looks. Um, this belt, I did get thrifted. Um, so I just wrapped the belt around the blazer. Girl, threw on some nude shoes, grabbed one of my cream vintage bags to kind of pull in the cream in the blazer and also my belt. And yeah, this is just one of those, you know, I'm, I'm in the mood for color. I'm in the mood for a vibe. So this is the look that I put together. Super cute. Definitely like this. Come on, blazer. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the next look was this really cute dress. Um, it's by Nasty Gal. I found this one at Thrift Mart. Super cute, I think it was only like $8. It's a little too big for me, but that's okay. Super cute, love the color. Girl, I paired it with this little Zara star bag just to give it something extra, a little fun. Um, I do have on my platforms that I got these from Ego. Um, my silver Fumi to label, silver um, jewelry bangles. Um, this one is from Zara. The others are Alex and Ani. Just some random rings. Yeah, girl. And a little bust down. Okay, the dress is super cute. I love it. Um, yeah, this look is real, real cute, real flirty. Love the color. All right, y'all. So for this look, I'm just giving kind of like an oversized camo blazer moment. Um, you saw that I thrifted this blazer and the camos. So they're a little too big for me, but I do love an oversized look. So I can probably get away with this maybe with like a size large camos. I believe these are like an extra large, maybe a 1X. I don't know. But they're oversized, but still, I love the oversized look. I love the plaid blazer with this. Um, definitely a, another mixed print pattern situation. Um, I added my little star bag that I got from Zara just, you know, to add something fun to the look. Um, and I do like that it picks up the green and the blazer with my camo. So definitely a super cute look. I just have on some clear heels with this. Um, just because really with the oversized look, you can't really see it. But definitely think this is a super cute look. So, yeah, y'all. Right, y'all. And then the last piece that I'm going to share is this blouse. Y'all saw when I had thrifted um, this blouse. Super cute. I believe I got this from Thrift Mart. Um, and I kind of just opposed some of the gold with the silver little puffer skirt. And then I have on these little pink heels that I got from Zara. Um, this one is giving like a super cute kind of flirty. Could be date night, girls night, going out. Something where you want to kind of give a little metallic vibe, okay? Super cute, especially if you want to put the legs out, girl, because the legs is out. <laughs> okay, but I really like this look. Super cute. Again, I love the blouse. And then I just kind of half tucked it just to kind of give it a something a little different. Plus, it's kind of oversized, so you wouldn't even be able to see the skirt if I didn't even tuck it. So, just giving a little silver moment, but this is super cute. Um, but yeah, just wanted to also say thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, I apologize because I didn't get one up last week, but your girl is up with a video this week. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you roll out. Girl, I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.